global warming. It's one of the defining issues of our time. It is the rise in the temperature of Earth's atmosphere and the oceans since the late 19th century due to the burning of fossil fuels and the increase in carbon dioxide concentrations in the atmosphere. In the 1930s, biologist Joseph Hart discovered desolate zones, which are areas of the ocean rich in nutrients but lacking in phytoplankton and other sea life. These zones supply little resistance to global warming due to the lack of photosynthesis. He suggested that these zones were simply iron deficient. Phytoplankton are diatoms, or microscopic plants which make up the base of the marine food chain. Phytoplankton, like terrestrial plants, use photosynthesis to absorb carbon dioxide and produce oxygen. Iron is the limiting nutrient for phytoplankton growth, and it is necessary for all photosynthesis. Since phytoplankton bloom especially well in areas of high iron concentration, biologist John Gribben suggested adding large amounts of soluble iron to the ocean's desolate zones as fertilizer. Relatively small amounts of iron can trigger large amounts of phytoplankton growth, just one kilogram of soluble iron added to the ocean would increase the phytoplankton biomass by up to 100,000 kilograms and turn the ocean green for miles. In 1995, a team of American oceanographers added a half ton of iron to a desolate zone in the South Pacific and observed a small area of phytoplankton absorb an additional 7,000 tons of carbon dioxide, the equivalent of over 2,000 fully grown redwood trees. An increase in the phytoplankton population could enhance primary productivity and reverse the effects of global warming due to the increased absorption of CO2. Side effects of a large-scale iron fertilization are unknown, though adding iron to a desolate ecosystem would be like adding water to a desert. The ecosystem could completely change, but we believe that this would be for the better. If large-scale iron fertilization is implemented, we can eliminate greenhouse gases and save our planet.